Hello, I'm John Clothier and welcome to my workshop. In today's video, we're going to be taking the plans I made for the guitar and making some templates from it. So as I said, today I'm going to be making the templates for the guitar. And I'm going to be making three. One for the body, one for the neck and one for the headstock. I will probably be needing others, um, but this is the three that I know I'm going to need for the moment. In order to make them, I've taken the drawing that I made on the previous video, and if you haven't watched that, I urge you to go back and have a look at it and see how I came out with drawing all of this on this piece of paper. I'm going to take that, I'm going to take from that a copy, a tracing, and I've been using that with some MDF to create three templates. So what I've got here is I've got all the design laid out, I've got the drawing laid out and held down in four corners. I've got two A3 pieces of tracing paper that are stuck together with a bit of Pritt stick and that's masking taped onto the design. I could just cut out from the design itself, but I wanna try and keep that. So what I'm gonna do now is just using my trusty pencil, go round, Now I'm not looking to be totally accurate with this. Um, we can smooth it out and make it nice and curvaceous when we get onto the sanding part. But this is really just about trying to transpose the rough design layout onto the tracing paper. So while with the body I was able to do a kind of a rough tracing that I can then straighten out or smooth out, I should say, using the spindle sander later, the neck needs to be a little bit more precise. So for that, I'm going to be using the long ruler and I'm going to be making sure it's done with a straight edge. Also, because although this section is two-dimensionally correct, this section is two-dimensionally correct, this section will of course be at an angle to the rest of it. So I can't just trace around this and cut it out as it is, which is why I'm making a separate template for this. When it comes to cutting out the wood, I'll just leave this area sort of fairly flat and fairly square, cut it at the angle, and then put the headstock tracing on or template onto it to, to cut that out. So I only need to do the template for here, really accurately from the, from the nut down to the body. But I will make sure that it includes this section so that I know the width, and perhaps most importantly, the minimum length that I need. At the other end, because we've only got a small amount of the neck that actually goes onto the body, I'm going to have the rest of the neck go underneath the first pickup. Well, in fact, the only pickup. So what you're going to see is I'm going to draw it to here, but I'm actually going to extend it out to this point in time, and that'll give me a little bit more gluing surface area for the neck. Okay, so that's the neck and the headstock marked out. Now you may notice with the headstock that I didn't mark out the machine head holes with a pencil, but in fact I used a, an awl uh, and put a hole in there. And that's simply because I find that it's a little bit more accurate. And it means that when I come to put this onto the MDF, I can use that again with the, with the awl and I can use that to drill the holes. Right, so let's get some MDF out. So I've only got this scrappy piece of MDF. I didn't want to go out and buy a new sheet. So I've kind of very carefully positioned the three templates. As you can see, I've also cut them out very crudely. And now I need to stick these to the MDF. And for that, I'm going to use some photo mount. Okay, so now I'm going to leave that until tomorrow, um, give it a good few hours to set, or the cure, the 
the glue to cure anyway, and then I'll cut it all out on the bandsaw. So with the glue now dry, I've roughly cut these to three separate pieces over to the bandsaw now, and we're gonna cut them out. Not gonna get too close to the line, because we'll finish that off with a spindle sander. Okay, so over at the bench, again, I've got my bobbin sander, straight spindle sander, ready and set up with all the dust extraction. Got the templates, they're pretty much there. Just gonna get them sanded out on this, get nice and smooth and round. With the neck, I'm gonna be doing that in a vice with a leveling beam. I've got my air filter on, I've got fan on, so I've got dust extraction. I've got ear protection in with some music. I've got my dust mask. Let's just get on with it. So now that they're all sanded, these templates are pretty much done. There's just one more thing that I wanna do with these two before I can call this finished. So with these two, they both have holes that, for things. So this one has got six holes for the tuner heads, and this one has got two holes here for the two control knobs. Now this will also have holes for the bridge, for the pickup, and for, well, for the neck to go in but I'm unsure about where they really need to be at the moment, and I don't know if it kind of works so I can put them on a template at the moment. I will create a template for routing out the pickup, but that will be done separately at a later date when I know a little bit more about what I'm gonna do with that. So, what I'm gonna do now is take this to the pillar drill. I'm gonna use a three and a half millimeter drill bit for these, and I'm gonna use a center point, and the reason that I'm gonna use three and a half millimeters it's because then later on I can put my all down into them to mark out where they need to be on the headstock. Okay, so that's the three templates done. At least to the best of my knowledge at the moment. There may well be more stuff that's needed, but this should hopefully get me going. So, next video, I'm gonna be making a start on using these. This is a series on building a first guitar, and I have to say, this is something I've had no training in, so I've learned everything that I've learned from watching YouTube videos. If you're finding this useful, I'd invite you to hit that subscribe button. It really means a lot to me um, to have all you guys watching and following me on this journey. Look forward to the next episode, where, as I said, we'll be putting these to use. Bye for now.